Welcome back. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa will arrive in Italy today on a visit during which he will meet with His Holiness Pope Francis. His Majesty will also hold talks with the President of Italy, Sergio Mattarella, and Italian Prime Minister Giorgio Meloni to discuss the Bahraini-Italian ties and topics of common interest. The meeting will review the Israeli military escalation in the Gaza Strip and pushing forward efforts towards a comprehensive and just peace in the Middle East region. Meanwhile, His Majesty the King met in the United Kingdom with his Majesty King Charles III, King of the United Kingdom of Great and Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Their Majesties reviewed the close historical bilateral partnership and means of further developing them in various domains. His Majesty also discussed regional and international developments with British government officials, including the Israeli war on Gaza and working to end the military escalations, prioritizing civilian protection and opening safe corridors for humanitarian aid. His Majesty the King emphasized the importance of achieving just and lasting peace to consolidate regional security and stability. Over the decades, relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom have been distinguished in various fields, based on a long history of friendship and close ties and the mutual respect and agreement regarding many regional and international issues. Thanks to the support of His Majesty the King with the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Bahrain-UK relations have developed through continuous meetings and mutual visits between the leaders of the two countries. The existing relations between Manama and London resulted in the signing of many agreements, cooperation protocols and memoranda of understanding with the aim of raising the level of partnership and bilateral cooperation in several different fields, including political, diplomatic, security, military, economic, cultural, educational and many others. Bahrain-UK relations are moving forward in achieving the aspirations of the leaders of both countries and maintaining communication and consolidating cooperation at all levels to achieve common interests and benefit the two countries and their people. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Qudaybiya Palace. The cabinet commended His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's directives to provide urgent humanitarian aid to the Palestinian people through the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine refugees in the Near East as part of the kingdom's commitment to supporting those in need and helping to relieve the humanitarian situation of the Palestinian people. The cabinet highlighted the importance of de-escalation providing humanitarian relief, food, water, electricity and medical aid into the Gaza Strip. It also emphasized the need to uphold international humanitarian law by protecting civilians and releasing any civilian hostages. The cabinet affirmed Bahrain's full support for all efforts towards achieving a just solution on the Palestinian issue to ensure regional security and stability. The cabinet highlighted the kingdom's support for a two-state solution in accordance with the Arab Peace Initiative, noting that peace and adherence to the initiative are the only means to ensure the Palestinian people's rights to an independent state with East Jerusalem as its capital. The cabinet followed up on the procedures taken by ministries and government agencies regarding His Majesty the King's royal order to preserve the historical and cultural identity of Bahrain's buildings and cities, the Isa al-Kabir Palace and the Muharraq during their renovation and development plans. In this regard, His Royal Highness the Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa visited Muharraq and directed the immediate implementation of the Muharraq development plans procedures to accelerate the completion of the purling path project. The cabinet then highlighted the digital transformation of public services which facilitates uh, their use and commended the vital role of the Ministerial Committee for Information and Communication Technology headed by the Interior Minister. The cabinet congratulated the winners of the E-Government Excellence Award during the 10th Bahrain International E-Government Forum which received wide participation from the Kingdom's ministries, government agencies and private sector. In commemoration of Bahraini Engineers Day, the cabinet congratulated Bahraini engineers and commended the role of the Kingdom's national workforce in advancing the kingdom's development. The cabinet then discussed and approved the following memorandums. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Interior regarding the National Strategy for Cyberspace Child Protection 2023-2026 to promote safe internet use and prevent child exploitation. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs to join the Djibouti Code of Conduct concerning the repression of piracy and armed robbery against ships in the Western Indian Ocean and the Gulf of Aden, approved by the International Maritime Organization. 
A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding an MOU on the Patent Protect Pro Prosecution Highway Pilot Program between the Ministry of Industry and Commerce of Bahrain and the China National Intellectual Property Administration. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the government's response to two proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet reviewed the following. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Legal Affairs regarding uh, the latest developments in the annual legislative plan. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning regarding the latest developments in housing projects and programs, urban planning and progress in housing financing and urban planning services. In this regard, the Cabinet emphasized the importance of implementing new solutions that support citizens' aspirations in promptly fulfilling their housing needs and providing necessary services. In addition, the Cabinet noted the following ministerial reports. Participation in the 27th GCCEU Joint Council. Outcomes of the participation in the emergency meeting of the extraordinary session of the Arab League Council at the level of foreign ministers. Outcomes of the 120th meeting of the Financial and Economic Cooperation Committee of GCC countries. Outcomes of the annual meeting of the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank Group. Participation of the 70th session of the WHO Regional Committee for the Eastern Mediterranean. Schools in Bahrain awarded the Technology Incubator Schools status from Microsoft for the 2023-2024 academic year. In implementation of the Royal Directives of His Majesty the King to organize a campaign to aid the Palestinian people in Gaza, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, launched a national campaign organized by the Bahrain National Committee for Supporting the Palestinian People in Gaza in cooperation with Bahrain TV on Friday. His Highness Sheikh Nasser donated 100,000 Bahrain dinars to become the first contributor to the national campaign. The Secretary General of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation and Chairman of the Bahrain National Committee for Supporting the Palestinian People in Gaza, Dr. Mustafa Sayyid, stated that during the campaign everyone will have the chance to donate and contribute to supporting the Palestinian people. He affirmed that the campaign reflects Bahrain's firm stance towards the Palestinian cause and His Majesty's keenness on supporting all, which stems from the humanitarian ties binding the various people of the world and affirmed the fraternal relations between Bahrain and Palestine. Dr. Sayyid called on all institutions, companies, citizens and residents to contribute asserting that UNRWA has been contacted to identify Gaza's needs. The Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed Limsalem delivered a speech during the meeting of the heads of councils of member states of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation regarding the developments in the Palestinian territories which was held remotely. He affirmed the firm position of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King with the support and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in supporting the Palestinian cause and the legitimate rights of the Palestinian people. He referred to His Majesty's speech during the opening of the second session of the sixth legislative term of the Shura and representatives' councils in which he affirmed the priority of the Palestinian cause and the position of Bahrain in supporting and endorsing comprehensive peace efforts to find a just solution to the cause in a firm and unwavering position towards a two-state solution in accordance with the Arab Peace Initiative and in a way that guarantees the right of the Palestinian people to establish their independent state and that peaceful efforts are the only option in the face of the current escalation to reach the desired solution. He praised the royal directives to provide urgent aid to the Palestinians through the UNRWA for Palestine refugees and the launch of a campaign to help those affected by the war in the Gaza Strip under the slogan Help Gaza, organized by the Royal Humanitarian Foundation. The Minister of Information, Dr. Ramzan bin Abdel Naimi, met with his Saudi counterpart, Salman bin Yusuf al Dosri, within the framework of his visit to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The minister stressed the depth of the historical fraternal ties between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, thanks to the mutual keenness of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdel Aziz al Saud. He also noted that uh, the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia 
Arabia, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The ministers discuss a number of issues of common interest and ways of enhancing media cooperation, in addition to discussing opportunities in areas of exchange of expertise between the two countries. Adosri has praised the continuous development witnessed by the distinguished fraternal relations between the two brotherly countries at various levels, especially at the level of cooperation in the media sector. Dr. Naimi also visited a number of government media institutions in Saudi Arabia, where he was briefed on the latest developments in the media field and opportunities to exchange experiences in a way that contributes to the development of the media sector in the two brotherly countries. The Minister of Industry and Commerce and Acting Minister of Tourism, Abdullah Fakhr, inaugurated the first edition of the tourism event, Connections Luxury Bahrain. More on this report. The first edition of the tourism event Connections Luxury Bahrain is an opportunity that allows Bahrain to demonstrate its appealing advantages to visiting tour operators, both in terms of tourism and investment. So this is um, the first Connections Luxury event uh, for Bahrain. Let me tell you that Connections Luxury is a very different uh, product to a normal um, travel show. What we do is we handpick the finest luxury travel agents from around the world, from the United States, from Canada, from Britain, Germany, France, Italy, Russia, uh, and of course from the GCC. We then bring them together um, and we create an event where it's an experience. Hosting this event highlights Bahrain's unique tourism potential as well as its ability to foster enduring trade relations with prominent global agencies. I've been on many connections events, it's some of the best events in the industry because we get buyers and sellers together and we really exchange and, and get connections going. So it's a, a very good event for tourism especially. It's very important because the Middle East in general is, is booming and of course you know there are some destinations a bit more known but people are looking for alternatives, a bit more easygoing. The Ministry of Tourism and the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority continue to exert efforts to enhance the kingdom's capabilities, preparedness and competitiveness to organize and host significant international events and exhibitions. Under the patronage of the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Bahrain Institute for Political Development, Ali Ramehi, the Institute announced the winning initiative of the second edition of the Future Bet program. Ramehi affirmed uh, that these initiatives reflect the creativity of Bahraini youth and their contributions to the development march of the kingdom led by His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He added that the second edition of the program witnessed wide turnout of more than 280 participants and 49 of them were accepted. During the closing ceremony of the program, the winning projects were announced. The number of users of the public transportation network in the various governments of the Kingdom of Bahrain during last September reached more than 927,000 passengers, an increase of 1.6% compared to last August. French star Sébastien Loeb gave Bahrain Raid Extreme another podium boost in the Rallye du Maroc as the final round of the World Rally Raid Championship once again delivered an epic desert battle. Partnered by Fabien Lequin in his BRX Pro Drive Hunter, Loeb set the third fastest stage time for the third leg running and climbed two places to second overall on another dramatic day when just 14 seconds separated the top three. Loeb was 6 minutes 16 seconds away from Rally leader Nasser Al-Atiyah and within reach of the third outright podium place in the championship.
His Highness uh, the Crown Prince of Kuwait, uh, Sheikh Mishal Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, received Saudi Minister of Foreign Affairs Prince Faisal bin Farhan bin Abdullah at Bayan Palace in Kuwait City. They discussed the situation in Gaza, international efforts to defuse tension and ways to protect civilians from the escalating military operations. Also discussed were the historical brotherly relations between the two countries, aspects of cooperation, and the latest regional developments. The meeting was attended by Kuwait's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Saudi Ambassador to Kuwait, and Director. Director General of the Minister of Foreign Affairs Office. The UAE Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan, discussed the latest developments in the region and ways to defuse the ongoing escalation between Gaza and Israel. This came during a telephone call with Federal Minister for Foreign Affairs of Germany, Annalena Baerbock. The two top diplomats discussed the efforts of the international community to win the raising extremism, tension and violence in the region. During the call, Sheikh Abdullah emphasized the need for regional and international actors to work together in a unified way to safeguard the civilian. Williams. The Kingdom of Bahrain joins the world in celebrating World Food Day 2023, which falls on October 16th of each year. More on this report. The importance of celebrating World Food Day this year comes to bring about a transformation in global food systems to become more sustainable amidst hundreds of millions suffering from hunger every year. This is something that the Kingdom of Bahrain is keen on, given that modern food systems can help the world reduce one-third of global emissions caused by traditional food systems. Bahrain succeeded in achieving many unique accomplishments at the Arab and international levels in water security, thanks to the keenness of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Kingdom is firmly convinced that the rapid changes that the world is witnessing require intensifying international cooperation and partnerships in the field of adopting concepts and practices of sustainability on the broadest scale with regard to finding innovative solutions to provide new sources of food based on modern technology to ensure that the needs of current and future generations are met. Among the achievements of the Kingdom of Bahrain in this regard is the development of a national strategy for food security through developing and implementing a strategic project for national food production. Current and future government initiatives, combined national efforts and partnership with the private sector, will move the Kingdom of Bahrain to rank 25 by 2030 on the World Food Security Index, occupying an advanced position on the Gulf, Arab and global levels.